Hello everyone, welcome back to Andrea's Attic. <coughs> Just a disclaimer, this is an adult colouring and hobbies channel. Today we're doing some diamond painting, so if you're under 18, please click off. We do talk about adult uh, themes on this channel. So I started doing this diamond painting the other day on the channel and some, some of you lovely viewers said, please show us some more. So as you can see, since then, I've done a bit more. I've cut this bit because I'm actually doing down this side at the moment. I've popped this bit back. So it's starting to take shape. You can see that it is, it is starting to take shape very, very slowly. So I've got my diamonds ready. Just going to give them the, do the shake and back. Put the freshness back. I'm going to zoom in and we are doing, we'll just take it down a bit because we've got it. Ooh. I have made it nice and tight, good. Um, set up from the last colour and chat we did. And we're doing these um, little, where is it, there's less than symbols they are. That's what I call them, because it's the symbol for less than. So we've got both less than and more than. Now I'm left-handed, so this is fiddly for me, which is another reason why it's not, that easy for me to do it and I do switch the the canvas around to make it easier for me so our point in oops to the I have no idea where that went <laughs> is, is it that one no that one's actually stuck hmm I'm not sure whether that one is should be there oh no it's up here <laughs> I'm not very good at this. I'm really not that good at this. But I am enjoying it. I mean, like I said, if I'm doing it and I'm on my own, it's quite easy. I'm sure I'll get into the swing of it at some point, but these are very, very tiny. Um, and I didn't know you could get round and square ones. I just ordered one. So. But it is starting to look a bit like a rough collie. Now I know some people do the checkerboard where you do every other one. Like that. And I could do that, I guess, for a bit, but I do get rather bored. <laughs> at doing things so that's why I can't spend too long doing this because I will get bored in it but I do plan on doing more of them I am enjoying it don't get me wrong I really am enjoying it I like seeing it take place I like seeing the sparkles um but I uh, you know it's just one of those things do I want to it takes a lot longer than colouring so but I will be getting a Marilyn one I think I mentioned that in my colouring chat that I'll get I'm gonna get a Marilyn Monroe one as I'm a big Marilyn fan and I'd love to do one. And I'm thinking of getting an Elvis one. I've seen one I like for my mum. This is for my mum as well. And then I want to get some Disney ones for Jennifer's bedroom. So yeah. So what I tend to do is because I hate having to put the stuff back in the tubs I'm not using bags I'm using tubs I'll show you them in a minute um, is to um, use up all what I've put out on the tray so yeah so yeah at this point there's quite a lot of odd colors because the shading of the dog So I'm using, because you can buy proper things, but I am too cheap to buy anything at the moment because I don't know how I'm going to really enjoy this. So I'm using these. These are film canisters that 35mm film comes in. Because I do a lot of film photography, I saved a lot of these containers. And all I've done is tip them in 
cut the number off the little baggie and taped it to the top. So this number's on the top. So I know which one's which. So this, obviously I've been doing it off camera, but this will probably be the only bit that I do today, the bit that I'm filming. Yeah, if I'm, because I'm getting quite tired, it's getting quite late. Again, I always film these after Paul and Jennifer have gone to bed so that uh, I'm not interrupting Paul and Paul and Jennifer's not interrupting me. So obviously I don't want to be doing this when Paul's around because he'd find it excruciatingly boring. And the same with the colour and chat. It's, it, this is my thing, not his. So I wait until he's gone up to bed. He usually goes up before me. He's, I don't blame him because he, he works all day. I, I don't. I come home and I... I do a bit of eBay. I've got some to pack to send off tomorrow. Only two. Um, I got some I want to list. I still haven't done it. I might put some pictures up. Right, that's all those ones at that point. Are there any more a bit down here? Yeah, there's a few more down here. We can do a bit more here. Um, as you can see, I've cut it. I saw somebody cut the, the cover page on it, and I thought that makes life a bit easier to do it like that. Now we're only doing, now there's some greater things down here. So we've got to make sure we only do the less thans. So the next one down here is greater. Let's have a look. We've got more layers and less than there. So, I mean, there's not a lot of bright colours on this. There are some pinks and purples. The pinks are mostly for the ears and the tongues. The tongue, so... Obviously, I'm nowhere near the tongue yet, so... It's just a matter of... Oops. bearing with until I actually get to it. Now I know it's not going to be perfect. You know if it was perfect it would be done by machine not by human and it's awkward for me because I'm leaning across the camera because it's in an awkward place so if it was a, if it was a letter I'd probably turn it sideways around and do it sideways but because it's these particular ones and I keep dropping my diamonds there you go splatter them everywhere and um, and they go greater than and less than. I'm just doing it this way so I know I'm getting the right ones. But it'd be, only be perfect if a machine was doing it. And I'm not a machine. Never have been, never will be. I've never said I'm perfect. And, and like I said, I've got lots and lots of different hobby. Oops. Just get my tweezers. Lots of different hobbies. I'd probably actually be quite good at doing it with the tweezers. I, I don't know, I haven't tried it yet, not properly. Maybe not. I'm alright for moving them with the trees at tweezers. And one of the hobbies I, I've got is I collect vinyl records, or records, because they are just records. They're made out of vinyl, is what they're made of. They're made of polyvinyl chloride, I think it's called. It's the same stuff, PVC basically, that your guttering and your plumbing pipes are made out of. And uh, I collect vinyl records, I collect old ones, and I buy new ones occasionally. Uh, yeah, that's all those. And, um, put that one there. And that's it for that bit, I think. There's probably a few more down there. But as I haven't started any more down there, I'll leave that bit. And I will peel this bit back, because there are some more up here. As you see, there's all greater than that at the top. I'm just gonna, as you can see, I've moved it across a bit and I'm going to do this section here now. See, can I move this down anymore? I've got it really tight because it kept falling down, you see. That's better. Um, yeah, so there's, um, I've been watching some record videos there are some that I subscribe to. I've got to subscribe because I've got another channel called The Vinyl Vlog and I'm subscribed to loads of vinyl people on there. I'm just going to cut down this bit a bit. Excuse me a sec. And we'll do it from... Okay. 
that you can leave that bit up there. You can fold that to there for now. And we can carry on. Yeah, so I've got another channel called The Vinyl Vlog where I post videos about records, my record collection and record hauls. And I do like watching certain channels. So there's, I'm gonna mention a few of my favorites now. So if you're into records, these are a few channels that I recommend you check out. So the first one is a guy named Matt Hayes. He is an expat Brit living in LA with his wife and two children. His, obviously his wife's American. Um, it's great because he loves a lot of the same stuff I like, the 80s and the 90s. He's got a great sense of humour. We're friends on Facebook as well. I've, I got to know him through his YouTube videos and my YouTube videos and he is just absolutely brilliant. Now he's got two daughters and they're very young so he's not posting as much as he used to when he just had the one. Which I do understand having one I haven't posted on my my uh, record channel for so long. They probably think I've dumped my record collection but yeah he posts some really good and funny um, videos. He does some brilliant editing so I recommend him very much. Another person I watch is um, a channel called Recordology. Uh, this is aimed more at beginners in the vinyl collecting. So he looks at all the different uh, budget record players, all the all-in-ones, the Crosleys, the Victorolas, all-in-ones that uh, certain people say, don't buy them because they will ruin your records. And he's like, no, they won't. Uh, and so on. So he is definitely worth checking out as well. He does some very funny stuff and he's not into particularly modern musical rock and roll. He does like a bit of Elvis, but he's really into big band music. He loves Glenn Miller. And so it's always interesting to hear what he is going to. Okay, so next we're gonna do some down here. We're gonna do the E's, which is 414. So I've got the pot here. That one's one I've had out already. I either put it in here because I was just tipping them in or I've used it before. I think it's a grey, so I've probably used it before. So I'm just gonna do the shake and vac. Put that freshness back. And where are we? There we are, there's some E's. They're just along here. The first one's right up here though. So we're just going to pop that in when I find it again. There it is. There's one there and there and there. So <laughs> oh, there's one up here. So you said this corner is filling out very nicely and that's what I've been trying to do is just fill out this corner and next I'll do the middle I'm, I'm trying to work my way across so I'm basically just going down to where I've done the, the cut which is here I've ended the cut here so that's where I'm going to go to and when I've done that I'll do the middle section I'll cut it to around the same place We'll do that middle section and then we'll do that top section and then we'll be on the bottom. So we can put in as many E's as we need to on this set now. Um, so wherever it wants an E, I'm going to pop it in. So there's one up there. They're everywhere, these E's. Um, oh, there's one up here. I missed that one. Uh, and that's the thing. Sometimes they're not... Some people go in, they do all the E's, all the P's, all the A's. I've, I'm just doing it in sections, so. There we are, there's an E there. There are some more E's over in this top corner, part of the corner, up here. So there's one there. Obviously, I'm not doing the ones that are under the cut part. They'll wait until we do the next section. There we go. Oops. I think we might need some more wax. No, that's not too bad. 
Oh, where did that E go? I seen another one here. Oh, there's one. <laughs> I seen another one. Where'd he go? E. So it's looking good at this top. I mean, somebody said they can't stand the little gaps in between, but I can't be honest, it doesn't really bother me. It's one of those things that I'm going to get better at the more I do it. There's one up here that looks quite gappy, but it's not the end of the world, is it? It's, it's art. It's not meant to be perfect. If it was perfect, a machine would be doing it, not me. So yeah, so check out those vinyl channels. I'll have a look at some of the others. I like if you're interested in vinyl records, let me know and I'll uh, I'll find some more. Oh, channel 33 RPM. That's a very good channel as well. Frank Landry. He's very good. I like his channel as well. See, so it takes a while for me to remember. Because I don't watch them all, all the time. I sort of like binge watch people. That's not on straight. Hang on. Do you know what? I've just used up a whole nother battery. I'm going to change that and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I can't believe that I've used up a whole battery. It's good but I've got. Well, I've got three that I know where they are. There's another one somewhere. I've got four in total. Um, I'm think I'm going to call it a night because it's getting on. Um, but yeah, I've done quite a bit of these lovely sable colours. I'm going to finish doing a few of these E's off camera, and um, we'll be back with some more diamond painting in a few days. I'm not going to make these really long videos because it is such a long, tedious job and the colours at the moment are not very good. Well, I think when I get onto this middle section and we're doing the face, then yeah, we'll do a lot more. But uh, that's it for today. hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and don't forget to like, uh, share uh, with your friends and comment and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And if you are a subscriber or not a subscriber and want to subscribe, Hit that notification bell as well so you know every time I put a video up. I really appreciate it. It really does help with the channel and I'll see you all soon. Bye.